That vehicle owner even took steps to try to thwart this type of crime, but those brazen criminals would not be denied. It took less than three minutes. The team of four thieves arriving with a jack and sawzall. I was sitting in my office and I heard some sawing. As I look out the window, I see two people next to my car going, what are they doing next to my car? And I literally screamed and scared my coworker. Laura Poskis works for candy maker Arway Confections in Portage Park. And it was in the company's parking lot last Wednesday, just as people were leaving work, that the thieves stole her Honda CRV's catalytic converter. They're so lackadaisical about it. They don't, don't even seem like they're in that big of a rush. You know what I mean? Just like, huh? As two thieves work to remove the sought after part, two others stand watch at a black Audi sedan with another catalytic converter in the trunk. Police say the crew is armed, and in the video, you see the person on the right reaching into his jacket while looking around. So, what if somebody did decide to confront him? Police say the offenders are responsible for at least half a dozen catalytic converter thefts on the northwest side just in the past week. Police say in some of the crimes, vehicle owners were threatened with a gun. But in this instance, the offenders steal that catalytic converter without a fight. They toss it into the trunk of the Audi, along with that jack, and then make their getaway. People who need to get to and from work and, you know, use that vehicle to get to and from their jobs, you know, middle class people, they cannot afford that. Laura Poskis became a victim even though she followed law enforcement's recommendation and had her VIN number spray painted on the part with a stencil to make it identifiable. The thieves took it anyway. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.